our new topic or next lesson natin after the cases of integrals of powers of the trigonometric functions is integration of rational functions by partial fractions. So, meron tayong mga cases na hindi natin pwedeng gamitin directly yung uh, logarithmic function or lon function and pati na yung mga inverse trigo functions natin. Kasi usually kapag ang given natin is integral of p of x in over q of x, yung may numerator and denominator, ang ginagamit natin yan yung integral of du over u is ln u plus c o kaya yung mga integral ng ano natin, uh, integral formula natin for a squared plus u squared for tangent, arc tangent, arc second, or yung mga uh, inverse trigonometric functions natin. But, anong mangyayari kung hindi applicable both? So, anong gagawin natin? We convert those uh, rational functions into partial fractions para magamit natin itong mga to. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, merong mga cases na ginawa natin to indirectly, uh, baka sa isa sa mga quiz nyo. Pero, uh, dito sa ano natin, yung topic natin ngayon, i-grupo natin siya. This is, these are another cases na pwede natin i-apply if, in case that we have uh, given functions p of x over q of x, yung may denominator, nagkakaiba-iba lang in terms of the denominator q of x. Okay? So, bawa given nga itong rational function natin. Pag sinabi natin rational function, fraction. Okay? Q of x, dx. When denominator, yung unang case natin or set ng solution natin is when denominator has only linear factors. So, yung Q of x mo, linear factors lang. Titignan mo yung factors niya. Kung ang uh, degree ng variable x natin or any variable is 1, linear, so under A siya. Kung ang denominator natin ay may mga quadratic Okay, so limited lang siya hanggang quadratic. Ibig sabihin, yung factors natin, yung variable is highest uh, degree niya is 2. Um, apply natin yung solution for B. Ngayon, under each uh, type, meron tayong dalawang case. So for, uh, for, for A, we have case 1 and case 2. Yung case 1 natin, none of the denominator is repeated. Ito naman, meron kang repeated denominator. Okay, yung sabihin naman natin, ganun din. Case 1 and case 2. So, yung case 1 natin dito is, um, none of the denominator is repeated. Sa case 2, merong naulit. Take note, for our B, okay, B group, it does not necessarily mean na wala kang linear factors dito. So, meron tayong combination ng linear factors and meron siyang quadratic. Basta quadratic factors, may nakikita ka ng quadratic factors, under B siya. Pero kung all, all factors are linear, so case 1 or case uh, 2, titignan mo na lang kung may naulit or walang naulit sa mga factors natin. Okay, paano ba ginagawa to? So, diretso tayo sa unang case. So, sa unang case, factors of Q of X, ito yung ating uh, given rational function, are all linear and none is repeated. So, i-convert natin siya into partial fraction. Kapag sinabi natin kasi partial fraction, chinap-chop natin, chinap-chop natin yung original, this is the original, into partial, na kapag in mo lahat ito, that is equivalent to the original uh, rational functions. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito is to find what are the constant a, b, up to, kung ilan mang factors meron yan, c, in such a way that kapag, um, in terms of partial fa fractions na yung ating original rational functions, mas madali nang mag-integrate. Okay? Mas simple na yung ating mga terms, kaya ma-apply natin yung madalas kasi logarithmic yan, or uh, if in case meron ding mga inverse trigonometric functions. So the first step is to uh, convert yung ating given original rational functions in terms of a over a sub 1 x plus b plus b over a x plus b up to c a sub n uh, x up plus b sub n. Kasi ang format, di ba? Ang format ng linear uh, term is a x plus b. Di ba yan yung linear nyo? Okay, a x plus b. Ibig sabihin, kapag sinabi natin linear, kapag relaf yan, linear siya. Okay, ang highest 
uh, degree or exponent ng uh, variable natin is 1, linear. Okay? Yung x, linear din yan. Okay? So, makikita nyo kapag nag-factor out tayo ng denominator q of x, makikita natin kung anong klaseng denominator meron siya and then igogroup po natin siya according sa case. For example, ito yung number 1 natin. So, obviously, hindi mo pwedeng gabitin directly yung ln natin dito. Kasi kung ang u mo ay x raised to 3 minus x squared minus 2x, ang derivative niyan ay 3x squared minus 2x minus 2 dx. Tama? So, yung numerator natin ang layo. Di ba? Hindi natin mapropodus yan. As well as, hindi siya pwedeng inverse trigonometric function kasi x raised to 2 minus mahirap siyang i-evaluate or i-reform in terms of our formula sa inverse trigonometric function. So, our last resort is to factor out and convert this function, rational function, into partial, partial fractions. So, ito factor out muna natin. Si x raised to 3 minus x squared minus 2x. So, you can use any method. Yung x muna, factor out natin. So, x squared minus x minus 2. Tama? So, that is x, x squared minus x. And then, ito pwede pa rin i-factor out. So, x, ito, ano ba yan? So, middle term natin is x. It is x, 2, x, 1. So, negative, positive. Tama ba? Guess and check lang to. You can use any method. So, x times x, x squared. Negative, negative 2x, negative 2x. Tapos, yung middle term is x. So, negative 2x. Sige. x times x, x squared. Tapos, ito, negative 2x. Tapos, yung dulo, plus x. And then, yung last is negative 2. 2 times 1, negative yung 2, negative 2. So, x squared minus x, 2x plus x, negative, and the x minus 2. So, ito siya. Ayun, original. Okay? So, yun nga. Yun yung factors natin. So, observe mo ngayon. The factors of the denominator are all linear. 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 And may naulit ba? Wala. So, this is under case under case 1. Okay? Denominator is linear. All are linear and none is repeated. So, ang gagawin natin ay i-evaluate natin. So, sulat muna natin yan. X, huwag muna natin lagyan yung integral sign and yung d of x. i is muna natin x raised to 3 minus x squared minus 2x is equal to a. O, pas maglagay ka ng constant, arbitrary constant. Di pa natin alam kung what is a over x plus b over yung pangalawa, x minus 2 plus c over x plus 1. So, yan yung partial fraction ng original natin. But hindi pa natin alam what is A, B, and C? Kasi kapag nakuha natin yung A, B, and C, we can integrate, okay? We can integrate um, directly using logarithmic, baka logarithmic lang yan, yung ating uh, partial fractions. Kasi kung ang U mo ay dx, ang U mo ay x, definitely ang du niyan ay dx. So, kapag inayos natin yan, binalik natin sa original, meron lahat dx yan. Ang u mo dito, x minus 2, 2. So, ang du mo ay dx din. Ang u mo dito ay x plus 1. Ang du mo din, dx. So, then, use logarithmic. So, meron na tayong preview na logarithmic ang mga gagamitin natin formula.